9 facts about the biggest shark that ever existed 1. The babies might have eaten their siblings at birth Megalodon babies were born extremely huge, on average. These megalodon babies were thought to be almost 6.6 feet at birth. Because of their massive size, experts have since concluded that it's possible that the megalodon babies would eat their siblings while still in the womb. Since they had eaten their siblings, all the remaining babies would have plenty of space to grow while still in their mother. Then, when they were ultimately born, they would be at a massive six feet and large predators already. While this does certainly mean that megalodon babies were possibly cannibals, this fact even helps explain exactly why these babies were so huge at birth. 2. Females were larger than males. While the megalodons were definitely massive sharks, the females were said to be bigger as compared to the males. On average, it is assumed that female megalodons could easily be up to two times as large as the average male megalodon. The females were usually larger in both mass as well as in length. Therefore, the largest megalodons were possibly almost 143,000 pounds or more, with some maximum estimates that could reach up to a whopping 227,510 pounds. 3. Megalodons and dinosaurs never coexisted. While both were considered ancient creatures that once reigned Earth much before humans did, dinosaurs and megalodons never actually coexisted together. Dinosaurs went extinct approximately 66 million years ago. Meanwhile, megalodons weren't thought to have existed until almost 23 million years ago. Both megalodons and dinosaurs were extremely massive creatures that were also apex predators in their territories. While they are both extinct now, Several millions of years once separated the two. 4. They might have been the largest fish ever. Experts state that megalodons might have been the largest shark and fish to ever have roamed the oceans. Megalodons were also said to be apex predators or the top carnivores during their time, which meant that they were at the top of the food chain. While many other large whales and sharks might have been their rivals, nothing came too close to taking the megalodon's top spot. 5. They had the most powerful bite. Because of their massive size, megalodons also had huge teeth, and that can be seen when we look at pictures of their fossilized teeth. Experts have even concluded that these ancient sharks might have undoubtedly had the most powerful bite of all time. 6. A megalodon was said to have a mouth that was almost 10 feet wide. The teeth of a megalodon are similar to the current modern white shark's teeth in shape, while in size, a megalodon's tooth is much bigger. On average, it is about three times larger than the modern white shark. 7. They had nurseries for their babies. Megalodons were thought to give birth much closer to the shore to help keep all their babies away from potential predators. In this way, megalodons had created nurseries for their babies. After birth, these megalodon babies would just stay in this vicinity while their mother would watch over them. This would also give the babies a chance to learn exactly how to prey on smaller fish, gradually working their way to catching and eating the larger creatures. Once the babies got older and bigger and much more capable of evading or defending against predators, they would simply leave these nurseries behind. 8. Teeth fossils have been found on every continent. The only fossils that we have at the megalodon are its teeth. However, we have been able to learn quite a lot from these teeth. One major component of the megalodon's life that experts have been able to deconstruct from these fossils is how and where megalodons lived. Megalodon's fossilized teeth have been found on almost every single continent, except Antarctica. Considering megalodons did not swim in cold waters, this isn't much of a surprise. Still, it's rather interesting to see how megalodons were able to thrive in various areas all over the world. 9. The cold climate could have been the reason for their extinction. After living for almost 20 million years, megalodons slowly began to vanish and eventually became extinct. Most experts strongly believe that his is because the Earth had experienced climate change, where the weather became extremely cold, and this made the water around the world much colder. Megalodons only resided in warmer water temperatures, so this colder water likely affected their current living situation. This climate change might have also caused various other fish in the sea to cease to exist, which then impacted the megalodons as well as their food source. With barely anything to eat and nowhere to go, 
these humongous creatures eventually passed away.